So Japan in a very strong position now on this opening day of the Thomas Cup. There you see it, they lead to love after Momota beat uh, Unkalong 2-1 earlier, having dropped the opening game, but then a, a very convincing victory for Kimura and Sonoda in the doubles, the first doubles. So that's why two love it is. And just one more match required, obviously, in this best of five. Although we will play all five matches, whatever happens, because if teams are tied on points at the end of the group stage, then there's a whole series of tiebreakers. Japan, represented by Kenta Nishimoto. Hong Kong, China, represented by Wong Wing Ki Winston. So our players for our third match of this tie are just about ready, and now they're coming onto court. Four courts, remember, in operation. Umpire for the group stage of the from Thomas India. and Uber Cup. Service judge, Eric Kurtz from Denmark. สนามที่สองประเภททีมชายกลุ่มสี่ระหว่างประเทศญี่ปุ่นและประเทศฮ่องกงชายเดี่ยวมือสองประเทศญี่ปุ่นตัวแทนคือวองวิงกิวินเ
So just about set then. We'll have the umpire introductions now. On my right, Hong Kong time, represented by Wong Wing K. Vincent. And on my left, Japan, represented by Kenda Nishimoto. Hong Kong China to serve. Love all flag. So Wong will serve first. Just the third meeting between these two, and when you consider their rankings, it's a little bit surprising. Both been up there in the top 20. Judgment. That will have snow on it, it was too long anyway. A, a very early statement of intent. Two, one. The tall man. Just about six foot. It's uh, one. So it's all. Two, off. Clever player, Nishimoto. Loves to mix it up. You never quite know what he's going to do. to get away. I saw the head-to-head. -head. Need two love, but this gives him a psychological edge until you've actually beaten a player, which so Wong has yet to do. Three, four. on terms so it's a good little mini fight back Made it look so easy, and it was anything but. Weight of shot and the angle to go with it. 
It was called out, there was an immediate challenge. Looks like it may well have clipped the line, to the naked eye at least. Have to see what Hawkeye has to say about it. Obviously a short delay here. Well, sometimes looks can be deceiving. It was wide. One challenge remaining. Six, four. Try. Well, that was almost self-defense so from Wong, but it worked. Five, six. <laughs> Absolutely leathered at him. He was just protecting himself, really. Missed that wide. So it's over. Seven, five. Just a slight so drift in the hall. Six, eight. From right to left as you watch. Just took that one into the tram lines. Really is a master at doing so that. Nine, six. Opponent towards the back of the court, the back line, and then just floats it. The skies and death touch never coming back. That one. Once again, terrific court craft from Nishimoto. Just almost instinctively knows where his opponent's going to be, where his opponent's going to go. And he's carved out a four-point lead here. Would love to take an 11-6 lead to the chair for the short break in a moment. So it's over. Seven, dead. Well, it's a, a handy lead so nonetheless. 11 7, seven in the... Nishimoto's favour.
Eleven seven. Play. Just get the feeling the longer the rally goes on, the more chance Mishimoto Round has of coming seven. out with a point. He just works his opponent to where he wants to be eventually. Somewhat surprising to see Nishimoto miss that. Certainly can't take his opponent for granted, Nishimoto. Gives one an opportunity, he may well take it. So has to keep that concentration level high as it was there. Service over, 13 9. Good leave. Pretty much bang down the centre of those tram Ten, lines. 13. Well, that time, 11, it was 13. Wong who manoeuvred the rally in such a way that he could play the overhead from mid-court. And Moto won't be happy with setting him up for that shot. about challenging and has challenged it was called out my first instinct that it was a right call see what you think yeah I think that's clearly wide Hawkeye agrees Challenges remaining. So it's over. 14-11. Play. 
15 level. Well, <laughs> one could uh, just about deal with the power of the Nishimoto smash, not vice versa that time. Well, a lot of hard work he did there, Wong, for no wow. reward in that point. Well, great entertainment, but once again, one run. comes out on the wrong side of it. in by a fair margin. Saw what is going through Nishimoto's mind there. with a vengeance just haven't seen enough of that kind of shot though unfortunately from his point of view in this opening game but while well, there's life there's hope four points down and his opponent within three of securing the game Just trying to be a little bit too ornate with that, I fancy. So it's over. 1915. Get the feeling Nishimoto needed that point just to stop the rot. wide as well. 16, 19. Oh. 
that gets Nishimoto to within a point of taking this opening game. Game point 16. Third match in this tie. See the frustration there from Wong. So, so one game point saved. Three more to go. Win from uh, Wong's point of view. Oh, he pulled out the best for last. Yeah. What a way to guarantee the game. Fabulous game shot. Won by Japan. And Japan have the edge. Second game, love or play. So one plan catch up here. But he showed enough in the opening game to suggest that it's not beyond the realms of possibility he could take the game off the uh, Japanese. Well, that's a pretty good start. So it's over. One love. Drop long, and that's a little bit wasteful.
Well, that was a battle of patience, that point, really. And in the end, Nishimoto just outlasted one. Well, at least it was called on the line. It ha has been challenged. Remember, those challenges reset after each game. You're allowed two. You keep them if they're successful. Surely that's on the line. He's got enough of it. So another unsuccessful challenge for, for Wong, who seems to be... Specialising in it at the moment. One challenge remaining. Five, one. Play. Amazing. So we've got a 6 1 score line, and pretty much every single rally, other than one service error from Wong, has been competitive. It's just. Nishimoto just wears you down. It hardly ever seems to make an error, and it's Wong that blinks first. Stop the rock in no uncertain Two, terms. Great leave again. He just loves taking charge when he gets to the net. That was from the back line, but he's been in the net so much, Nishimoto. Superb again from the Japanese, Nine, two. who is uh, in irrepressible mood at the moment. And he's just run one all over the court, made it look ridiculously easy in this second game in particular. Catch a call, no, it was just out.
Well, somewhat surprising this from Ishimoto. Nine. So good that I don't expect that. I guess he's only human. So he goes to the chair, Nishimoto, with a, a huge lead, 11 points to four. So what has one got left, if anything, here? If he's going to fight back, he's got to do it right here, right now. Problem is that he's just showing some signs of frailty and his opponent is playing about as well as he has at any stage in the match. Beautifully steered again into the space. 13, it's almost uh, an exhibition at times. From Nishimoto. Draws his man in. Goes the other side. Play. Brilliant again. 14 4. Once again, just a little flick of the wrist. Well worthy of the applause from his coach. Fifteen, 
และทรัพย์สินแท้รัตนชัยประเทศเยอรมน,นีตัวแทนคือโยฮานาโกริซูเซลกิและลาลาแคปเปเลกรรมการผู้ตัดสินเชี่ยวเฟิร์นการส่งลูกซากามอโตะเอมิจากประเทศญี่ปุ่น Not sure if he genuinely thinks it's a slip line. Must be fairly close, you would imagine. It was close, but not close enough from the Japanese's point of view. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 6:15. Play. I can't believe he's missed that. I don't think anyone in the crowd can Seven either. 15. He would normally eat those for breakfast, but just shows you even the best. Not immune. Between India and Canada. Second double. India, represented by Sanyogita Gauhe and Pratakta Sawa. Don't think it's going to matter too much, though. He's pretty much 16, on seven. cruise control here in the second game. be an infuriating man to play against Mishimoto because he just stays in the point, stays in the point. It's almost out of frustration. One goes into the middle of the net. So it's over eight seventeen. Long by distance and a, a look of so sheer frustration 18, eight. from Wong. Good, was it? It was. So it's over. Nine, nineteen. Yeah, just missed. Apologies. But moving inexorably towards a pretty so bloodless over. victory here. Twenty. Eleven point match points, nine. and of course this would secure the tie as well. For the so subtlest of drop shots, at least Wong has the consolation of getting into double figures in this game. Oh. 
11, Quendi. It was a service fault. And that will work. Game. It means it's game, it's match, and the tie as well for Japan because they lead three love now. And that's a, a very authoritative start for the nation that won this title four years ago. Just 40 minutes it took. The uh, second game was a lot more straightforward than the first. And Nishimoto secures the first points of the 2018 Thomas Cup as far as Group C is concerned. Just to reiterate, we will play the next two matches because it may well be the teams are level on points. We need the tiebreaker. But Nishimoto gets the job done here in double quick time. 